Hey guys, how are you going? Welcome to your 12th Zvelte tutorial. This one is going to be a follow-up on the previous tutorial um, and it's going to be talking about event modifiers. Okay, so what are event modifiers? Well, they're just simple uh, bits of code you can add to your events in order to do somewhat complex logic. And typically, um, if you were to um, you know, achieve this logic using regular JavaScript, um, it's going to take a few more lines of code or a few more characters of code. So, Let's have a look at a really basic example of the once event modifier. Okay, so let's go inside here. We're going to be adding a new button and we're going to say inside here something like click me. Okay, so then of course uh, once you press on the button or once you click on the button, we can say on click right here. We can quite simply run this function. It is going to alert and just say you clicked the button. So um, we all know what to expect from this. If I was to save this and go inside the browser, we can see if I click on the button, we are going to get that alert box right there. Now, this is going to happen every single time I click on the button. Now, how do I make it so it only happens once? It's really straightforward. We're going to be using the once event modifier. So let's go back inside here. We can simply add a pipe to um, uh, the event right there and we can say once, just like that. So now, this event is only going to happen once. Let's save this and go back inside the browser and we can see that happens once. If I try it again, it no longer happens. So that is one example of an event modifier and um, probably one of the more popular ones, but I think um, uh, the event modifier, which is probably going to be the most popular, is going to be the prevent default event modifier. So let's have a look at that one right now. So let's create a new form right here. Okay, and we can uh, we can specify the action as being dot forward slash. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter what we set this to. Okay, and we can just say um, inside the form we can have a new input field right here. Let's give this a name, and we can just say uh, let's just do my username, and then we can have a submit button right down here. So we can say button with a type of submit just like that, and then we can say when you would say on click right here. Um, let's let's just say inside here we're going to do uh, alerts and we're going to say you submitted the form. So quite straightforward and we can just say submit right here. So this is a simple example of an HTML form. Now if I was to save this and go inside the browser we can see upon clicking on the submit button it of course is going to say you submitted the form but also it is going to actually go to that page and of course submit the form. Now that is of course the default behavior of an HTML form. It is going to redirect or it's going to submit the request for that resource. Now, let's use the prevent default um, event modifier right here. So we can say prevent default right here. That is going to essentially call e.preventDefault behind the scenes. So pressing save now, we can now press submit on the form and it is only going to show the alert and it won't submit the form as we just saw. Let's actually just remove remove this query string just to see it a bit more clearly. Let's try again, enter in some details, submit, and we can see we don't get that form submission. So that is what the prevent default event modifier does. Now, it's important to note that you can also chain these up. So we can say prevent default, and also we can say pipe once again, and we can just say once. So now we're combining the once and the prevent default event modifier. So now, Going back inside here, we can press on submit. It is going to happen once. If I try it again, we can see we don't get that second event for the alert. Okay. Now, one last thing uh, just to show, there are actually quite a few event modifiers for Svelte. So I'll just put these up right now. I'm not going to be covering each one of them, but you can see here we have um, all of these right here. So we have prevent default, we have stop propagation, we have passive capture once, and we have self right there. So definitely have a look at the documentation and see all the event listeners, or sorry, all the event modifiers, which you may need, and of course, use them as you require. And that is event modifier in Svelte. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.